Welcome to Moku with Stephanie Palomino. Did you know that the average IQ in the West was rising by 3% every decade? But not only we getting smarter, our cars get smarter, and even our homes get smarter, and now our cities. So Stefan, what is a smart city? Hmm. I'd say a smart city is a city that enables its citizens to actually become even smarter. So uh, through technology, um, but also through empowerment. Um, so helping citizens to actually become more active and take a more active role in solving the problems that you have in your daily life in, in, the, in the city. Who's sitting in the driver's seat by this change? I think it's actually, uh, it needs a lot of different players. And the city obviously is, is central because the city kind of needs to provide the platform so this can happen. And, and when we talk about ecosystem, which is, you know, a nicely, nice big word, we actually mean that it's like a coral reef. So the, uh, you have to provide a safe space for things to, to happen, for innovation to happen. And the city can provide that space. And so um, if the city um, thinks of itself a more as a platform, then this can happen and citizens can start to work and create better solutions for, for the city. Do you have an example for a product was coming out of this process? Oh yeah, sure. Um, so for example, last year we did a big program together with different cities. We combined different cities. And um, one problem area that we defined with these cities was collaborative city. So how can we make cities more collaborative? Um, and this is very much in tune with you know sharing economy, all those new ideas that really were very ripe last year, especially. Um, and out came some really nice uh, solutions. So for example, one is called Sharing Academy. And it's an app that connects students and creates a mentoring system between students so students that have uh, a forte in one aspect can help others that are weaker, right? And, and pairing up students and help them to get, to get better, to get smarter, right? <laughs> so um, that's, I think, a good example of, of, of a product. And that came out of a process and really took off right after the program because we always end with a bit of show, right? So we do a competition, we help these products and apps to get visibility. And for them, that was really the launch pad to, to more. So when I want to be part of this uh, movement, mm. so where I can find the information mm. and where I can apply? Yeah, so uh, we have a website, yeah. appcircus.com, and um, that's where basically all the action happens. Um, we do these two things. We do um, the incubation projects, we call them hack at home. <laughs> <laughs> so not a hackathon where you go somewhere, not only, but you also hack at home. Great. Um, and, then, um, and then we also do kind of start our pitching app events where people come and pitch their app really to get visibility. Stefan, that was really interesting insights mm. and like good luck with changing the cities and make them more oh, yeah. smarter. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.